Now let's see how sequence is controlled between statements. C. There are three types of statement sequence control, namely, first, basic statement sequence control, second comes statement level sequence control, and the last, structured sequence control. Well, now let's understand each of them. A basic statement sequence control takes one of the below mentioned forms. The first one is declarative statement. Whenever we declare a variable, we know that a memory address is assigned to every variable dynamically. This is the first step before we store any value in that variable. And hence, all these takes place in this specified sequence. Next comes assignment statement. In this, we use an assignment operator to assign the value to above declared variable. This is the follow-up sequence preceded by declaration statement first. For example, when we write that A is equal to B, in machine code the following statement executes. And lastly, the third type of statement is input-output statement. Now, since you had a declarative statement, you can assign value to that variable either by assigning it statically or taking input from the users. In C language, we have scanf and printf statements for these. Also note that the program will pause until you have taken the values. Lastly, it's the break statement which breaks the program flow and resumes from next block of code. This is mainly used in loops or conditional statements. Next, we have statement level sequence control. In this first, we have implicit sequence control, which is divided into three types. First, composition type. In this type, the program follows sequential manner. It reads the code line by line, just like a very basic code. Second, comes the alternative type. This is very similar to your if-else statement, so to speak, where the program sequence will follow either of the part, depending on the condition's evaluation. And lastly, the repeating sequence, also known as the loops. It continues till the condition is valid. Next, let's have a look at the explicit sequence control methods. The first to come in this method is goto statement. The goto statement is an unconditional jump statement, which is used to jump from any piece of code to anywhere else. Although it is not used much in today's state. Break statements are also part of statement level sequence control, along with the basic statement sequence control. As explained earlier, it can be used to break the flow of program and continue from next block of code. This is used mostly inside loops and conditions. And lastly, let's look at structure level sequence control. A structure level sequence control is categorized in three types, namely compound statement, conditional statement, and iterative statement. This type of sequence control generally differs from above two as we will be dealing with a block of code, which is also called as structure. The first one is compound statement. A connection of two or more related statements is called a compound statement and these are enclosed in curly braces, thus forming a code block. This provides an elegant way to modularize your code and put together various interdependent parts in a single functional block piece. Next, we have conditional statements. This is in the form of if-else statement. If-else statements are part of this because here also we specify the code inside a structured block. Along with simple if-else, we can have a nested level if-else statement as well. In the diagram shown to the right, we have a very basic structure for if-else code. The code will run in only one direction. Lastly, let's look at the iterative statements. In C language, we have for loop, while loop, and these loops can have a bunch of compound statements inside them. Hence, we put this under structure level control part. 
iteration is the core feature of any programming language and we use this feature repeatedly to prevent manual running code in the loop.